show it in spots. Growing up, has there ever been a toy you had to have? Unknowingly, we have all been targeted by advertisements and the work of marketers. Fortunately for you, I'm here to tell you about their techniques so you can form, so you can become savvier consumers. After performing hours of research and by learning about techniques of marketers in a psychology class, I'm here to, um, to give you a view of the mind of a marketer. First, we're gonna go over the objective of a marketer, and then second, we're gonna go over the psychology marketers use in the research. The first main point is the objective of a marketer. The objective of a marketer is simply to advertise their products to millions of people. In the 2009 Canadian Ethics Study, they believe that marketing involves the knowledge of memory and the economy. So, not only does marketing affect the, the, uh, the company you work with, it also affects the economy as a whole because money, it affects money flow greatly, so you should take your job serious, and there's ethical reasons behind that. And in Occupational Therapist Nancy Weisswinger's 2012 interview entitled Occupational Therapy Today, she explains that knowledge of the consumer market is key to success. So you should know that the economy works in cycles, and that in the up cycle you should try to sell and market more and not do it in the down cycle because when it's up, people are more loose with their money, so it makes more sense. Now let's move on to the second main point, and that's psychology and advertisement. The use of psychology should be subtle. In Mark Chainsey, a cognitive scientist, he reveals in his 2012 article entitled Effects of Unconscious Exposure to Advertisements that the most effective ads are the ones people aren't even aware they're watching. So in other words, if you make it obvious you're trying to sell something, people aren't going to want to listen to you and they'll be skeptical of you. So it's important to be subtle with advertisement. And the other, the other important aspect is the use of the lowball technique. And the lowball technique is a technique where you start with a very small commitment and you get the consumer to buy into that very small commitment. After they commit, you make the commitment just a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and et cetera until you get the whole deal out. And this technique is supported by Gator and Ciudini in their 2006 study, and they say it's the easiest way to initiate sales. And every car company from Mercedes-Benz to Chevrolet, they all use this technique in their, lease, in their ads and leasing because it's very effective and it's proven to work. And in conclusion, we've learned many interesting aspects about a marketer. First, we learned about the objective of a marketer, to help the economy. We also taught them, we also talked about um, that they need to know about the economy to be more effective. Secondly, we went over the psychology behind advertising and to make it more effective and pop out more. Growing up, has there ever been a toy you had to have? This is proof of the effectiveness of marketers. Thank you. Yeah. 255, Paul, thank you.